Hello everyone and welcome to our second week of the course. So far I was really happy with the discussion posts. You all came up with some really interesting examples for your initial posts and I was happy to see your, you posting really engaged responses. This isn't something that all classes get the hang of as easily as you have, so nice job. Um, there did seem to be a significant drop in participation in the chapter 4 discussion forum. Um, do remember that your lowest discussion grade is dropped, um, so if you miss one week as long as you post all of the others, it won't hurt your grade. Um, I think part of the problem may have been because we were covering three chapters um, in the first week, and this is the only week where we will cover three chapters, so the rest of the course should be a bit more manageable in terms of work workload. Um, the test scores for last week were relatively high, particularly on the Chapter 3 test. Um, it did look like some people ran out of time on the Chapter 4 test because they were up against the 11.55 p.m. deadline. Um, this is why it's important to spread your work out throughout the week, so I'd encourage you to plan accordingly. For this week, we're going to start covering specific disorders um, or categories of disorders. Keep in mind that your final paper will be a case study of a specific disorder, so as we go through the material, be thinking about what disorder you're interested in doing. Um, more details about the final paper are available here in your final paper grading rubric, and I'll go over that next week when your outline is due. Um, the first chapter we'll cover this week is attachment disorders. Um, for the discussion forum, um, what I'd like you to do is watch a 30-minute documentary. Um, do note that there is some disturbing material um, in the video about abuse, so if you need to skip over some of it, that's fine. Um, once you've watched the documentary, I'd like you to um, think about the causes of the disorder in that situation and also do some investigation on treatments for reactive attachment disorder. The second chapter we're covering is on autism spectrum disorder. I have a few videos to go along with this, um, one on the developmental precursors of autism, so what does it look like in young infants, um, and the other one on one of the many intervention programs for autism. And your discussion forum uh, is to find and describe one um, myth or popular belief about autism. Um, do some online research and provide at least one source to try to figure out how the myth developed and whether there's any truth to it. Um, and discuss why it's important for parents to be informed about it. So please let me know if you have any questions about any of this material, and have a great week.